When I felt it was time to um, reach out to the Muslim women in order to stop the killings, the Christian group I belonged to were totally against it and none of them supported that move. But it was something I believed in my heart that, look, enough of the hate, enough of the suspicion and distrust and killing, whatever it would take for us to stop the killings, I was ready to do that. I could see courage, I could see perseverance and boldness in, in what she did. It was a big surprise when I found out that these women were just like us. They're not what I thought they were. And for the first time, I was beginning to see um, just similarities between us. Esther and I came together because the men have felt to do the right thing. And we felt that as women, um, we have a responsibility to come together and do what we feel we should do. Children were becoming targets of attacks and we just felt as women and as mothers, we couldn't just sit down and, you know, let it continue. For the first time, it was not just the Christian women that are sitting down and talking but it's the Christian and the Muslim women. We're talking together and we're trying to um, find ways to address this. I wasn't directly involved in the violence, but I was always speaking and protecting, defending the actions of the Muslims without necessarily understanding whether we are right or wrong. We need to stop them turning us against each other we are hoping that the collaboration between Christian and Muslim women will send a strong message to our society that enough is enough, the killings have to stop, and we need to learn to coexist with one another. Well, you know, it's not just easy to change overnight, but we're doing something about it. The killings must stop. Whether Christian or Muslim, a life is a life.